So what's the difference between a knockoff Apple Watch band and a genuine Apple Watch band? And well, you can actually tell this is actually the genuine one and this is the uh, knockoff. Which one is it now? You can't tell from here anyways. Is there a difference? The answer is yes. A very, very tiny, tiny yes. One of these straps cost me $20, whereas the other one cost me close to 300. Up until this point, I bet you still don't know which one is the real one and which one isn't. Now, when I first got these two bands, the only way I could tell the difference was by the color of the magnet on the clasp. The dark one is the genuine Apple product and the uh, silver ugly looking one is actually the knockoff. And for this video, I'll mark the uh, rip off one with a piece of tape. Now, how did I come to the conclusion for this video? I spent in total 22 weeks, 11 weeks with this band and 11 weeks with this band. I would just cycle out the bands every week and I would just use it like I normally would with an Apple watch. And my conclusion at the end of the 22 weeks is that the Apple Watch band holds up a little better. It, does, it doesn't look as beat up as the $20 knockoff, but does that matter when the price difference is like over $200? Now I know Apple products seem overpriced. In general, you do get what you pay for. You know, more money usually means a better product and it, it actually rings true when it comes to Apple hardware in my opinion. Just ask one of my very first iBooks. Now all my laptops in the last 15 years have been Apple laptops. When I bought my MacBook Pro Retina, my parents, my mother bought an Asus, my father bought a Samsung, and both those laptops are dead after, were dead after two years and they went and bought MacBook Pro 13 inches for themselves. So Apple hardware lasts. It, I'm very, very happy with Apple hardware. Now, accessories on the other hand are completely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Apple iPad cases are brutally priced. Like I'm so appalled at the cost of Apple iPad cases. They work well, but are just way too much, which is why they're only number two on the top 10 list. They'd be number one if they were, you know, half the price. For the iPhone, Apple cases are decent, but are still definitely overpriced. But the difference between a $10 case and a $45 case is quite noticeable. For $10, you get a piece of cheap plastic with sharp corners. And for $45, you get something that's very grippy that may last you a year before all the silicone comes off if you're very rough with the case. Now with these Apple Watch straps, I bought the Milanese uh, black one and I was just absolutely it was cool um, until I went and saw how much the knockoff ones were and I was just absolutely appalled and I was pretty angry and I was going to write an inflammatory or film an inflammatory video but I said to myself well I'll give these two products a chance to see how they hold up over time. Out of the box there isn't much difference. There's not much difference between these two products. The bands weigh almost the same, they have the same width, but the links on the Apple Watch band are a little bigger, but that's about it. Both have a solid fit with the Apple Watch and neither of them gave me issues while wearing them. Now the $20 band has a bit more bend to it. Now this doesn't make a difference when you're wearing it. I'm guessing that the links in the Apple Watch band have a tighter fit to them, which could be an indication of the of build quality. Now, the biggest difference between these two uh, products, the coating on the $20 band is kind of starting to wear off. Um, you can definitely see where the band makes contact with the clasp. Now, how big of a deal is it? It's not because most of this is happening on the inside part of the band that nobody sees. The only other thing that I've noticed between the two bands over the uh, 22 weeks of using them is that the $20 band has way more scratches than the genuine Apple product. So that's it. Over a span of 22 weeks, those are the only differences that I've noticed. So the question I have, is it worth the extra $240 to get something that uh, wears better over time? I'm guessing for you, the answer is gonna be no. But here's a few things to think about. By supporting a knockoff company, they didn't do a single thing. All they did was say, hey, this is cool. I'm gonna copy what Apple does and I'm gonna make it out of cheaper stuff, but I'm not gonna charge the offensive price. So by buying the knockoff, you're actually supporting some sort of business entity that spent absolutely no time trying to come up with something innovative or something new. They just decided to copy it. And I know price comes into a lot of consideration, but is it really worth to reward companies that do not take any initiative to make their products their own. They just go and copy it. The second thing to think about is that your Apple Watch isn't cheap. You know, it's a $500 device. And I kind of found myself falling into this mental trap when I was wearing the cheap band is that 
I realize that I'm wearing a cheap band with a very expensive uh, product. So, you know, it, it doesn't kind of make sense, but I'm the only person who knows that. The average person walking down the street doesn't know that I've got a $20 band on a $600 Apple Watch. Now, when I was wearing the real one, you know, I felt a little better, which is kind of sad in a way, but that's still something to consider. The last thing you might want to consider, and it's kind of like the opposite of number one, is does Apple deserve to be rewarded for creating a cool wrist strap uh, for an Apple Watch, um, but do they get rewarded for being absolutely dicks about pricing? That's another thing to consider. Now, now I know they spend a lot of money on research and development and you know stuff like this takes a lot of thought to actually make properly. Like I, I'm very impressed with how well this works, uh, especially when compared to other watch straps that I've used in the past. But is it really worth the premium? Is it really worth close to $300 for me after the exchange rate? I don't know, I'm still kind of on the fence. I'm really hoping that this $300 watch strap lasts forever because, and you know, the Apple Watch doesn't change in size because there's no way I'm gonna buy another one of these for the Apple Watch 3 if it changes size because that would just be offensive in my opinion. So that's kind of all I got for this video. The difference between a knockoff and a genuine product, very, very tiny, tiny, minuscule, like bagel.